How's it going, guys? This is Jason. Welcome back to my Sekiro No Stealth Kills Challenge Run. We're going to be doing Harada Estate in this episode. So we get a pellet from the starting area. We'll start up this uh, idol. And look at this. I really like the music in this area. I think the, just in general, the uh, FromSoft sound designers are just really good at making it like really, really uh, sort of sad sounding, like mournful music. It's used to pretty good effect here. That was three years ago. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to fight the enemies on the bridge first, and then uh, we're going to jump in the water after that and catch those fishies. All right. Oh, didn't expect him to wake up so fast. He almost got me. Let's grab this. Dowsing powder, medicine for treating burns. Heals the burn status abnormality and for a time decreases burn buildup, increases burn resistance and reduces damage from incoming burn attacks. When fire is used on the battlefield, dowsing powder is crucial for survival. While we're here, I'm just going to jump down here for an item. Treasure Carp Scale. A sparkling scale from a treasure carp. To the average person, it is just a beautiful scale. But there are some who exalt a certain master who consider these scales among the most precious things in the world. For this reason, collecting them could be worthwhile. Alright, next up. Oh. Judge the distance there. Eh, I think we're just gonna rush in and kill this guy. We can get him before the dogs see us up there. One thing I am gonna do though is switch to my shurikens. Take these dogs out from a distance. Oh! One got through. Okay. Oil. Plain oil. When the jar breaks, the oil covers everything nearby. Enemies doused in oil are easily set alight causing them to take additional vitality damage from fire attacks and making them more vulnerable to the burn status abnormality. There's no one around you, dude. Okay. Continuing on. Oh, we got a skill point. Uh, pup. We're going to take out the pup. Oh. So you notice these bandits, uh, occasionally when you hit them, they'll go into sort of uh, don't hit me mode, where all they do is throw up their sword to defend and nothing else. So that's a pretty di ideal situation. Maybe a possession balloon. Okay, so now we're going to jump in the, the water, catch some of these fish. Because we want their precious, precious scales. They will run away as soon as you get close to them, so you need to kill them quickly one and there should be three more fish in this lake there's only one more that's pretty close to the surface that, that'll be trivial to kill and then two more that are sort of deeper down that require a bit of timing to uh to get them all right so here's the one close to the surface and there's two more that you'll be able to find by locking on you just sort of spam the lock on button until you lock onto something and there it is see it's a little bit deeper down but it is actually possible to kill these at this point. Uh, if you want an easier time killing them, you could wait until later in the game when you have uh, the ability to go underwater. But uh, because you can actually kill them now, it's a bit tricky. It'll take a couple tries. I still don't exactly understand the timing, but I've done it a couple times before. And they respawn, so 
you can try as many times as you need to to get them. So let's see. Oh, I whiffed. Well, he he didn't notice me. I get another try. So there we go. So from what I can gather, the the way you do it is your your thrusting attack has to sort of linger above them for a few seconds in order for, to actually get them, like coin purse. Uh, and so you have to really control your distance when you're approaching them in order to make that situation happen. Shut up! I'll get to you. Let's see if we can do it again. Oh, see, that time it, it looked like it should have worked, but uh, I don't know, it just didn't, didn't happen that time. Um, so we'll just wait for him to respawn. I think they usually respawn in the same general area that they appeared in, so he'll probably be around here somewhere in a couple seconds. There he is. Uh, let's give it another try. Ah, oh, come on. Let's see if I can... Oh, I tried to funnel him against the wall to maybe get another shot at him, but... Yeah, he's gone. It's you really just get that one chance, and once they notice you, they, it's really hard to get them again. Let's give it another try. There we go. Okay, so that's all the treasure carp in this area for now. Now I'll talk to you, my good sir. Let's spend these these carp scales. I will. I will bring them to you. Divine Grass, we're going to take that. And with a Red Gourd. Uh, that'll, that'll help against burn damage. Let's read it. A curved withered Red Gourd filled with medicinal water. The Gourd's medis medicine refills upon rest. Reduces burn buildup and slightly increases burn resistance. It cannot... It cannot heal the burn status abnormality, however. So we're going to take that. That should have some use in this area because there's lots of fire going on. Next thing we're going to get when we get more scales later on in the game is the Floating Passage text, which is a uh, combat art. No, thank you. Uh, so let's... How many sugars we got? If we don't have many sugars, I might switch it out with the Red Gourd. Yeah, we've only got the stealth sugars. I think we're going to have the red gourd be in our candy slot for now. Okay, let's continue on into the estate proper. And we've got an idol up here and an item. And we've got several bandits up there. Ceramic shard. We're doing pretty good on healing items. I don't think we need to, to rest. Um, I think we're, we're just going to rush in and kill this guy. It doesn't matter if the others see us. So they're, they're far enough away. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much because we're, uh, we're coming around the side here to grab an item anyway. And so they should... Uh, oh, did one come? If one came running around, I might have gone back over there to, to kill him while he's alone. But it doesn't look like that happened. Okay, I'll go sugar. Now, there is... What do we got? We've got those two guys over there, and we've got this archer alone over here. So we're going to take out this lone archer, and we're going to try and attack him towards this corner here so that uh, we'll be blocked from any fire if they notice us. So let's do that. Okay, looks like they didn't even fully see us. So now if this guy gets close, I'll fight him. Uh, and hopefully that carriage there should block the archer if he notices. And then we'll go for the archer after this guy. Oh, he didn't even fully notice. Okay, so we'll take him out now. Okay. Nice and clean. Let's get this item. Fistful of Ash. Okay, so down here, uh, we got three enemies that we can see. 
One of them's got a big axe. He's going to be a little tougher to kill. And we see a bowman on the far side. So what can we do here? If we just jump down, I think we'll be seen immediately. So let's use a stealth sugar to get a better position before we go in for our attack. And uh, we're going to go around the building, I think. You can actually sprint while... Uh, being a ninja, you can sprint and sort of still be unnoticed. Uh, I think we want to take out the archer first. And now we've got this fourth guy here coming around. So let's position ourselves so that we can kill the archer pretty quick. This guy's going to see us, but we can probably take the archer out before he gets an attack in. And we're just going to wait for... Oh! I fucked up. How did the wall hug actually give away my position? Oh. Oh god. I had the potential there to hit, get iframes from that stealth, uh, that death blow, but uh, for some reason I couldn't couldn't finish it. Well, we better heal. Let's take some pellets. And now these guys are onto us. That sword guy is going to be weaker than these axe guys, so I want to take him out first. Oh, they got too close. I can't finish him. Can I do it now? There we go. So iframes there during that. Can't see myself. Okay, as long as they're separated, it's not too bad. And I can use these firecrackers to stun him. Now he's in defensive mode, so I can just swing away. He's dead. Now it's just one-on-one -on -one with this guy. And that's that. Okay. So, that was a little bit messy. We took uh, some heavy damage in the beginning, but we recovered. Let's take another pellet. And the reason I'm taking pellets right now instead of my healing gourds is because uh, pellets can be recovered as you go through the level. Whereas healing gourds, uh, you can't recover those until you rest. So, and there you go. We just picked up two pellets. And we're back to full pellets. Uh, so that, that's a way to sort of optimize your use of healing resources. Of course, in certain situations you need health immediately and you can't afford to wait for it to refill over time. Akko sugar. So in those cases, obviously, you need to use your healing gourd. But... When we're sort of in between fights, it's better to use pellets. Okay, I think I got everything in this area. Let's continue on. We're going to equip our shurikens. Because we got uh, some doggos. Now, there's a ton of enemies around this area. There's a bunch of bandits over there by the fire. We got a dog down there. We got several straggler enemies. We're just going to do our best to kill individual enemies as much as we can before we alert everybody. But uh, I know I know already that archer on the roof is going to be a problem. So as soon as we do aggro everybody, we're going to go for that archer first. Okay, so probably going to take out this dog and then that dog and then jump down and kill the, the soldier while he's alone. Now, will I attract the attention of the others yet? Can't tell if he... Oh, the archer saw me. Okay. Doesn't look like anyone else saw me yet, though. They're, like, suspicious, but they haven't spotted me. So, let's let's just take out the archer real quick while he's aggroed. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. He actually got me. Okay, so these guys... These guys are all alerted now. Let's, let's funnel them back here in an effort to, uh... Take them one-on-one. On, one on one. We're gonna use Fistful of Ash if we need to, if they start ganging up. Make sure they're not coming behind me. All right, now we get this guy. Come on. Get closer. This guy's taking forever to die. Oh, my God. Okay. I guess he was the only one that saw me there. Let's take another pellet. Who else we got? That guy. I don't see anyone around him. Maybe we could just take him out right now. Alright, it's looking good. Uh, let's take out some of the stragglers that we saw earlier. We got this guy who's wandering around drunk. Just wait for him to pull out his weapon. And he just goes into don't hurt me mode. And we got this guy over here. Hey! 
Wake up. Okay, okay. Uh, let's pick up this item. Now oh, we got a spirit item. Ceramic shard. Another spirit emblem. Uh, we still got a couple more guys sitting around there. Let's just get some items on the way there. Fistful of ash. How many we got? We got. Is there only one? I only see the one. All right. Well. Oh shit! Dog. That's the rock. That was the worst time for the dog to show up. Literally just about to attack this guy, and the dog's like, bark! Uh, okay, so that's all the enemies here. Uh, let's start picking up items. Flame barrel. Uh, let's take a look at that. Oh, what did I, what did I do? I'm pressing the wrong buttons. Flame barrel, an iron barrel that spews fire, can be fitted into the Shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. It is difficult to control the rage-filled red eyes with the power of man alone. However, a fire-based weapon could be a means of resisting them. They are said to fear fire above all else. So, uh, that's a reference to the chained ogre that we killed earlier. Uh, obviously, we did it without the flame barrel, but uh, flames should be more effective against them. Dowsing powder. We're back to full on pellets, so let's use another one of those to heal. And we still have not used any healing gourds yet, so we're looking good. And we'll continue on. I think we got all the items. And now we got this guy. And this guy over here in that area hurt us. But I don't think he's going to make it all the way out here, so we should be safe. Hurry. Shinobi axe. I want that. I'll get that axe for you, sir. I swear it. Okay, so there's that guy who was alerted. There's these two guys here. Let's eavesdrop. Yeah. What are you, a noob? Obviously, you don't take from Buddha. Everyone knows that. Okay, so we'll take the guy out alone first. Where, where did he go? The hell? Oh, is he behind this building? There he is. <laughs> what are you doing, you creepy bastard? Just staring at the corner like that. Just die. Okay. Uh, we'll get this item. Light coin purse. So, we want to separate these guys. We don't want to fight them both at once. So, we're going to... Uh, ceramic Shard. Uh, how can I do this? Maybe from here? Yeah, that'll work. Oh, just one... Just the one guy heard it. That's perfect. We'll wait for him to get a bit closer, and then we'll attack him. He shouldn't be too strong, so we should be able to kill him before the other guy gets gets to us. All right, now we got this guy. Fistful of Ash. God, I suck at deflecting these guys. Their attacks are so fucking awkward. We're doing on pellets. We got three. We might as well use another one. And actually, he dropped a pellet, so I, should, I probably should have used that pellet before I uh, sucked up the items. Shinobi Axe of the Monkey. A heavy black iron axe used by Shinobi can be fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic to become a working prosthetic tool. This Boris axe is used less for cutting and more for breaking things with its weight. Once the favored weapon of a Shinobi known as the Bounding Monkey of the Sunken Valley, it was lost along with his left arm. So, uh, potential spoilers, I don't know. Uh, that's probably a reference to the sculptor, who we know uh, doesn't have a left arm and uh, has alluded to his previous exploits as, as a shinobi. So, let's open up this shortcut. And 
this leads all the way back to the uh, first idol that we got. Let's look at the Gokun sugar that we picked up. Sugar candy made by the Shinobi Hunters of Misen Temple, sustaining Gokun's blessing. Reduces posture damage taken for a time. By, uh, Misen monks are well versed in the art of killing Shinobi, an undertaking that demands a body with an unshakable core. So, even more candy now. Oops. Alright, what do we got in this area? We got a rooster. Another rooster. And a third rooster over there. Okay, so we'll take this one out first. Anybody here? <clears throat> nope, okay. So, we'll see if we can get these guys. What's the best way to... I wonder if I can attract one of them over with a ceramic shard or something. I'm gonna make sure I have a hiding place before I do that. <laughs> Did nothing. Let's try this again. These guys aren't a huge threat, but uh, I do like fighting them a bit separated from each other. Just because they can get a bit of damage in. Yeah, see, even you saw even there just flailing around. He just did a bit of chip damage that I, I don't want to take unnecessarily. Okay, so that's those two. Let's get this item. Pellet. Excellent. So we're back to full on pellets, I think, yeah. So this is exactly the reason I said to use pellets when possible, because we're basically at full healing items, and we're this far into the level. Okay, let's, uh... Aggro just the one. The other one's a bit suspicious, but not alerted yet. Oh, why didn't I death blow him? I mean, I know why I didn't press the button to do it, but I was wondering why I didn't press the button. I just stopped there. Ungo Sugar. And then let's go up to the roof. And we've got Litecoin Purse. Now, if we go to this, the uh, next area, we'll see a familiar face. It's Anayama the Peddler, who we met in uh, Ashina Outskirts. What are you wearing? Look absurd. Okay, so he's telling us to look out for a pagoda that might have treasure in it. If we go to this area, we've got a bundle Jizo statue. Hooray! Okay, continue on. Let's eavesdrop. Okay, so these these guys are next. Uh, we're the, we've got an axe guy who's harder to kill, so we're gonna try and get the torch guy first. Uh, I think we can get him before the axe guy gets an attack in. Gotcha! Okay, fistful of ash. God, it just breaks your posture immediately. It's so annoying. There we go. Okay. And we're up to six skill points. Awesome. Let's head in here. We've got... Antidote powder. Hey, thanks. Uh, back here we've got. Yeah. Well, not, not 
not much to say about that. Shinobi Hunter? Okay, so a little foreshadowing about what's coming up next. Uh, all right, so up ahead we've got that torch guy. We've got two shield bandits. For them, we're probably going to want the shinobi axe. So we are going to... <laughs> you know what? We're actually going to fight them without the axe because I don't want to rest. We're just going to go right through here, kill them without the axe, and I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, if we die here, we'll obviously get the axe and come back and do it right, but this is definitely doable without the axe. It's just more frustrating. Okay, so we'll kill the torch guy first. We've got our fistfuls of ash on hand. And you can do it. Oh, he sidestepped it. Wow. You can do it like this. So I missed my opportunity there. When, when they do that charge, you want to get behind them and do a running attack, and you, get, you can get two good hits in. Uh, but I mistimed it. Let's try this again. And actually, Whirlwind Slash does pretty good damage, too. Let's take a pellet. Go back to Fistfuls of Ash. Oh, shit. Okay, so I'm trying to bait that charge attack that they do so that I can run behind them. They're, they're already pretty close to... Yeah, there's the charge attack, so when he does that, I can get two good hits in. And now one more Fistful of Ash. He's dead. And this guy's already at half health, so as you can see, this is definitely doable. It takes up some Fistfuls of Ash, which, if you haven't been using them, this is a good use for them. And, uh... Yeah. Obviously, way easier if you have the axe, but still doable without it. Okay, how are we doing? We've got full healing gourds, pellet. Uh, this is the last area before we get an idol, so we should. Uh, I'm gonna feel free to use my my healing gourd if I need to, uh, especially since there's a mini boss in there. You can see him in the distance. Um, so we just need to take out the soldiers before we focus on the mini boss. We'll take the torch guy first, and then uh, the bow guy over there next to the, the shinobi hunter. I'm just going to wait for the shinobi hunter to turn around in case the bow guy notice, notices me. I'd rather not aggro the mini boss right now. So here we go. Here comes the arrow. I think I can get to him before the shinobi hunter notices. Oh, no, he notices me. Okay. So now I need to get out of here because uh, they're all aggroed. Uh, I need to reset this. So these guys are down here. I might be able to isolate that guy who's up there who isn't fully aware of me yet. Oh, shit. It would have been better if he had noticed me because then he would have come closer. God. Fucking axe guy. Okay, well, I'm just going to filter them. I'm just going to funnel them through until I can get one of them alone. Oh my god, he tried to thrust me from above. Almost got me. Let's take a pellet. And, uh, yeah, we're just avoiding the Shinobi Hunter until we can kill both soldiers. Oh! Oh shit, I didn't realize he was behind me. I just saw his spear, like, poking from from uh, the camera angle. Okay, so they're together right now, which is not ideal. Uh, maybe a Fistful of Ash might help here. All right, need to get away. The Shinobi Hunter's there. This guy's almost dead. A shuriken might actually kill him. Get away, sir. There we go. Okay, now we can focus on the Shinobi Hunter. We're actually going to take a sugar while we're up on high ground, and he can't get to us immediately. <laughs> Let's do this. Now, I have to remember, I don't have a Makiri counter, so I can't just... I have to deflect his shit instead of Makiri countering.
Oh. There's a sweep there. You gotta jump above it. Okay, so that's one down. We're gonna get the firecrackers ready so we can do this. Alright, we're gonna heal. It's getting a bit dangerous. And back into attacking. Looking pretty good. Oh, alright. Gotta make sure we don't get hit by those thrusts. Let's take a pellet. Another one of firecrackers should be good now. Look at that deflect. Build up his posture. Doing pretty good. We gotta stay aggressive. Jumping above him. There we go. Whew. Prayer bead. You know, I think that might be the first time I've killed that guy one first try without Makiri counter. So I'm, uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty proud of myself for that. <laughs> All right, let's pick up these items. We got pellet. Only used one healing gourd. Look at that. Uh, I think this is the last item up here. Maybe possession balloon. Okay, so let's get to this uh, idol. We're not going back there for any reason, so there, there's no reason not to reset the enemies. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, oh, you know what? We're actually not going to go to the temple just yet. What we're going to do is we're going to... There's one more shinobi prosthetic that we're going to grab real quick, and then we'll head to the, to the temple so that we can equip all of them. So we're just going to head into this back route here. This The, the normal route up there is crawling with bandits. We're just uh, taking this alternate route. We're actually going to go to the uh, pagoda that An Anayama mentioned. And we'll take this uh, fishy. Treasure carp scale. And we've got this hidden path here with all this bamboo. Contact medicine. Powdered medicine with poisonous effects used through the ages by Ashina Shinobi. A weak poison status at abnormality is inflicted upon consumption. By inflicting a weak poison on oneself, all other forms of poison become in ineffective. Some shinobi also use this medicine for a specific technique. Poison is said to expand the mind. Now, that may seem like an item that's sort of there for no reason, or like out of, like an out-of-context item. Like, there's no poisonous enemies around that would make you want to use a weaker poison to prevent them from giving you poison. But, once we get to what's in this pagoda, uh, it a there's actually a really nice explanation for why, why that item is there. First, we got this this uh, purple ninja to deal with. So, <laughs> we'll just get killed by him real quick. He can be pretty tough. Uh, and he has the very high chance of breaking your posture. Shit. Obviously, he does a lot of damage. Well, you just gotta stay aggressive. Be ready for his big combos. If you have Makiri counter, you can counter that thrust kick. I'm just gonna re recover my posture for a bit. Oh shit. Woo! Cover posture. I need to get out of here. I don't want him to like get me into a camera angle where I can't see shit. Oh, how did I not deflect that? Alright, let's heal. We got pellets at least. All right, jump over this. This is the last guy we're fighting before the shrine. So. He's almost there. Jump over. There we go. Whew. I was worried there for a second. So we got some scrap iron. We're up to seven skill points. And uh, actually, we'll be able to spend our skill points when we go to the dilapidated temple this time. Okay, so our reward in this pagoda, we got... Mist Raven's Feathers. A bundle of Mist Raven Feathers can be fitted to the Shinobi Prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool. In Yusui Forest, far to the north of Ashina, live many mysterious birds of prey. The Mist Raven is only the only one to have eluded capture by all who have tried. Should you somehow manage it, you'll find it gone, only feathers in your grasp. So basically, this this prosthetic allows you to... So let's go back to the temple. Uh, this prosthetic allows you to teleport behind an enemy that has just attacked you. So when you would have taken damage, it allows you to teleport. And the reason that contact medicine is an item that pla that's placed near this is because using contact medicine applies a tiny bit of damage every frame, 
And it actually allows you to teleport uh, with impunity. You can just sort of teleport all the time because you're ta you're constantly taking a little bit of damage. Um, so that's sort of a, that's a really cool kind of uh, synergy there. I've never actually done that myself, but uh, I def I saw a video on it, and uh, it's pr it's pretty cool. We're definitely going to be equipping that prosthetic and uh, seeing what kind of use we can get out of it. Okay. Uh, we don't have any healing gourds, or uh, gourd seeds, rather. So we don't need to talk to you yet. Let's talk to the sculptor. I'm still reading the dialogue, but I'm I'm going by it a little bit quick because they these guys speak really slowly and it's sort of taking a long time. Okay. So we've got a bunch of new prosthetics to equip. Loaded axe. Flame vent. Mr. Raven. And now we get this. A book, a prosthetic esoteric text. A book of secrets that details a variety of techniques for use with the Shinobi prosthetic. Grants the ability to learn prosthetic style skills. Written by a man who abandoned the path of the Shinobi but could not bring himself to discard his painstaking research. He never expected to pass these on to anyone else. So, another reference to the sculptor there. Let's see if we can upgrade anything now. We should have more gold. Oh, we've got tons of more gold. Okay, so let's get some of these upgrades. We'll just start with the first two. Let's equip some of this new stuff. Uh, what do we got? We got so this is the upgrade we got for the shurikens. Uh, we can now we now have a charge attack for our shurikens. So let's do that. We upgraded our f uh, firecracker, so we can now uh, charge that up and uh, basically do a 360 firecracker. We'll do that. And uh, the last one, we've got the Loaded Axe and the Flame Vent. We're going to hold off on equipping those until we need them situationally. But uh, we want Mist Raven. Because it's just it's just cool, you know? Teleporting? <laughs> okay. Let's spend these skills now that we have the uh, prosthetic arts. So now we've got this whole other skill tree. We're going to get the one cost spells first. Chasing Slice. So with the Shuriken and the Firecracker, we, get, we now have a follow-up melee attack when we use them. And uh, also Grappling Hook attack. When we're using the Grappling Hook, we can now attack before we land. And we're going to get Makiri Counter now. Uh, we'll get Run and Slide. So when we're running, we can sort of slide into cover, which is kind of neat. And we'll upgrade our number of spirit emblems we can hold. Sounds good. Spent all our skill points. Let's head back. And now we're going to tackle that area with all the bandits. Prosthetic, oh, okay. Prosthetic follow-up attack. Special sword attacks can be performed immediately after using prosthetic tools. Yep. Let's, uh... Actually, I'm gonna switch these. It's no CD thing. I like to have the thing that I upgraded last in the first slot, followed by the next thing that I upgraded, followed by the last thing that I picked up. Okay. Uh, we've got... Those two guys coming towards me. We've also got that archer up there. It's a little bit hard to see. So we're going to try and sneak around and come behind these guys. No, I guess they noticed me, so it's not really sneaking, but we're going to at least position ourselves more advantageously 
then run head on. We'll come around and hit, hit the archer first. Can I get up there, please? There we go. Oh, he wasn't even up here. He was down there. Well, whatever. Ow. Okay, you're dead. Uh, who the hell just hit me? Oh, oh god, this is a disaster. And there's an archer back here. Ow. Wow. <laughs> this is going so poorly. I'm gonna have to heal. I need to get away from these, whatever the archers are. Can't, can't even see them. Let's heal. Okay. That's enough of you. Now you. I know there's an archer around, but I don't... Oh, you piece of... Kick dirt in my face. What the hell was happening with the camera there? Okay, well that was that was hideous. Let's see if we can do better with the rest of this area. Where's that archer that shot me? There was like another one who's Oh, they're up there. They're shooting at me, but they're not even aggroed. I don't know what's happening. Uh, we better take care of them first before... There's two enemies down this way, but these archers are a problem. Dowsing powder. So yeah, let's let's rush these guys. Just need to angle away from them so that when they shoot, they miss. Luckily, they're pretty weak, so it doesn't take many hits to uh, kill them. Just try to avoid this guy. This guy seems stuck. Alright, so he's dead. Luckily, I don't actually need to do a death blow on these guys. Alright, that went way cleaner. Uh, are there any others down here? I think there are. No? Oh, okay. I guess, I guess these guys all get attracted up in the chaos <laughs> for that first uh, disaster. So, looks like this area is clear. We've used a healing gourd, which is not great, but uh, that's what they're there for, you know, emergencies. And I don't remember what this is. I'm just gonna use a pellet real quick, just to get back to full. Why not? We've got oil, okay. Uh, okay, so now up ahead you can see a big guy and a couple shield guys. I'm gonna attract the big guy over here and fight him before going to the shield guys. There's also an archer back there, which is a little annoying because uh, if he creeps his way over the bridge, he can start interfering with my fight with the big guy. So we'll just have to keep an eye on him while we fight big boy. I might test out the Mist Raven on this guy. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So this guy's definitely coming over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bait big boy into an attack that brings him close, and then I'm going to run back and kill the archer. Yeah. I'll just kill him before... Okay, so those guys are only suspicious. They shouldn't actually follow me. Oh, shit. Oh. So, just gotta attack in between his... And just make sure you deflect his big attacks, because they, they hurt. Okay, so he's down. Uh, I'm actually curious if I can use Miss Raven to my advantage against these shield guys. Uh, because they do like to bash you after you've attacked their shield, and that should be enough to get me to teleport behind them. Let's just try it out. Oh, you know what? But I don't think I have a follow-up for Mist Raven yet with my skills. Uh, uh, come on. Chasing Slice. Yeah. No, I, so I would teleport behind them, but I'd have to do a, a regular follow-up attack. So let's just give it a try. <laughs> okay, that worked pretty well. I got one hit on each of them. Let's see if we can just do this again. Yeah, I'm liking this. Ow. Just gotta make sure I don't get hit by those. Let's take a pellet. Watch out! 
All right, so this guy's almost dead. I need to fo focus on him. I've got a fistful of ash. Let's just finish him off. Oh, really? Now we're just fighting one. Should be more manageable. Does it actually use the spirit emblem if I don't get it off? No, I don't think it does. That's awesome. So yeah. So, an alternate way to kill the shield guys without uh, the, the shinobi axe. Fistful of Ash, cool. Uh, okay. Let's head on up. Still got three healing gourds, which is good. No more pellets, but uh, hopefully we, we can recover a few more later. Father! Hidden Temple Key. The key to the hidden temple in the Harada Estate, given by the Owl. The secret temple is located in the very back of the Harada Estate. 2. The Lord is Absolute. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. Okay. Uh, you're you're fine. You'll be fine. We. Uh, which prosthetic do I want equipped right now? We got bandits. Uh, I'm thinking firecracker. In case we get swarmed, we may need to stun the son of a bunch of them. Let's take this guy out. We got a big group over there. They're still unaware right now. We've got a guy back there, and we've got a couple here. Uh, this guy, we I think we can take out without alerting the others. Let's give it a try. Okay, good. We've still got this group that's unaware. Uh, we're going to hold off on them for a minute. And we're going to go down this path first. Uh, we've got an item in here. Mibu Possession Balloon. And... Uh, here we've got a shinobi hunter. He's not hes not quite the mini boss, but he is very similar. I'm gonna use Mist Raven for this guy, in case we get those difficult to deflect thrust attacks going on. Oh, I forgot I have a Makiri counter now, so actually that's not necessary. Oh, but one thing I do not want to do is aggro his friend. Which doesn't matter, because I killed him first. Now we can fight this guy. Let's go ahead and use a candy, because I forgot to do that first of all. We'll use a Goken Sugar, which makes uh, deflecting not take quite as much uh, posture. Oh. These guys are a bit tough because they, uh, they vary the timing of their thrusts, which means just doing Makiri Counter as soon as you see the indicator isn't always going to work need to properly time it with which thrust they're doing. Pellet. Excellent. We're back to two pellets. Mibu Balloon of Soul. I don't think we've seen that one before. Let's take a look. Mibu Balloon filled with fountainhead water imbued with a blessing for departed souls. If one pops the Sakura Pink Balloon in praise, those its water splashes upon will acquire more resurrective power for a time. The oldest of the Mibu balloons, Mibu priests are known to pop them as an offering of peace of the departed. Is there anything else we haven't looked at yet? We got a bulging coin purse. A purse almost overflowing with Sen. It can be used to acquire the Sen inside, hefty enough to bring something resembling a grin to the wolf's face. Well, that's a nice. So, we, we got our pellets back. We only used one healing gourd. We're looking really good on uh, healing items right now for this big group. 
And uh, this is the last obstacle before the next sculptor's idol. So I think I think we're good. Um, yeah, we want our firecrackers out for crowd control. Uh, the shield guy's going to be a problem. We may need to just hold off on the shield guy until we've thinned the herd a bit. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rush in. And then before they... Oh, is there an eavesdrop opportunity? I don't think I've seen this before. No one can see me, right? Ah, interesting. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to run it right up to these guys and then use my 360 firecracker that I just uh, upgraded. And then attack the, the torch guy while he's stunned. Let's give that a try. So that's one down. Now I need to get out of here. Ow. Let's take a pellet. Now I'll just kill these guys as they come out. I got Whirlwind Slash to sort of... Oh shit. Alright, let's take a Healing Gourd. They're still kind of spread out. Another Whirlwind Slash. Oh god. Yeah, see it's very easy to get over overwhelmed. Alright, so that's him down. See if I can take this guy out before the others get there. Got him. Shield guy, we're going to ignore him and just, uh, well, not ignore him. We're going to hit him for two and then go to the other guy. Okay, back to Mr. Raven for the shield guy. Ha! Gotcha. That's how you do it. Took a couple hits, but uh, well within the acceptable margin. Uh, is there anyone in here? No, there's not. Okay, so I think we're home free. Uh, there's nothing between us and the next idol. Ninja Run! This always reminds me of Ninja Gaiden, these wall runs. One of my favorite games when I was little. Oil. Okay, so here's the idol. Let's rest. And let's spend skill points. We have two. Why not? Suppress presence. We're going to use this. Even though we're doing no stealth kills in this challenge run, um, suppressing your presence does make it easier to not aggro a bunch of enemies at once. So that's still useful. Let's rest. Onward. Let's get out our firecrackers. We've got an archer up here. Let's take him out. Ow. I just ran into the fire like an idiot. Now, we've got a large group up here. Um, if I, When I'm feeling impatient, I like to just Le Leroy Jenkins it and just, just charge in there. But uh, I think we're going to do this a bit smarter. Because we want to we save all the resources we can for the upcoming uh, fight. So, we'll try and uh, isolate these two take them out separate from the, the larger group. I'm just going to wait until they're a bit closer. Then I'll jump down and surprise the archer. And then the axe guy I'll uh, I'll fight for a longer period of time. Alright, they're turning around so now's the time. Okay, looks like no one else noticed except for this guy. I'm just going to lower him a bit farther back out of sight of the others. Damn your awkward attacks. <laughs> wow. Oh. Okay. He's dead. Uh, next. Let's sneak around a bit. Get a bit closer. We've got that torch guy up there, and we've got two more patrolling. I think we can take out the torch guy alone. Who else we got? I heard some people being aggroed. We've got... Just the one? Are you alone? Where's the other one? Oh, okay. There was a guy in the house, apparently. And, uh, oh, there's an archer, but he actually doesn't have line of sight on me, so he's harmless right now. 
I meant to deflect that. God. I fucking hate these guys. You're dead. Let's take a pellet. Ooh, I just... I just happened to, to backstep around that arrow. Oh, I'm stuck on the rock. You're dead. And now just this guy. I don't know what he's doing there in the corner, but you're also dead. Okay, so these bandits are taken care of. We still got our healing gourds. We only used one pellet. Uh, in here we got dowsing powder. I find I haven't... I don't get burned very often, so dowsing powder hasn't been that useful. Um, but you usually just have a stockpile when you do get burned. Divine confetti, excellent. So that's an extremely important item for, for that headless guy that we saw uh, in one of the previous episodes. Virtually, It's virtually the only way to, to kill him. I can't imagine someone fighting headless without, the, without that item. Ceramic shard. Okay, so coming up on this area there's a shit ton of enemies and if you can see him there's a, a huge guy off there in the back who's a mini boss uh, we're going to try and thin the herd before we actually aggro everybody so we'll focus on these guys in the house first there's one here and another right behind him and I think we can kill him before the other one notices well not notices but is able to attack So, no one else noticed. We got their stuff. What's this? Litecoin purse. Now, uh, we got some shield guys in the back. We got these guys up front. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to head this way. And as you can if you can see him, there's an NPC over here who's going to be an ally in this battle, and we're going to have him draw the attention of a lot of the enemies while we take out key, tar key targets. So. Oh, fire alarm's going off. Oh, there's people at the door. I gotta pause. Hey guys, we're back. Sorry about that. Uh, they were doing fire alarm drills in my apartment building, and uh, I needed to get up and answer the door to let them do the test and stuff. So we're continuing on. I actually forget where we were at. Oh right, we were just charging in. So we're just going to take out as many of the bandits as we can. Uh, and try and keep uh, our friend alive. So we're going to take the shield guys out last because they're harder to kill. Are there any other... Yeah, let's take out the soldier. Oh shit, I got poisoned. Oh, oh god. The iframe saved me. Alright, I, I need to get out of here. And we're gonna take an antidote. Okay, now for these shield guys. Oh. Let's do firecrackers. This is not working out. Oh, he's dead now. Shit. I really need to use the axe because there's no time to do the... Uh, um, there's no time to, to fight them properly. I need to get them apart a little bit. That, that'll work. Oh, that was cool. I just I slid into that. Awesome. All right, now I need to get back and heal before I face this guy, because he'll, this guy will one-shot you like like it's like there's no tomorrow. Okay, we got the pellet going on. Let's take a sugar. Physical defense will be nice against this guy. And let's go back to our mist raven, actually. <laughs> About to get hit by that poison, I think. Okay, we got it. Sidestep this for some extra damage. Now, one, there's sort of a decision you have to make when fighting this guy about whether you want to do, be doing damage or whether you want to be dealing posture damage. Um, 
I, I feel like dealing health damage is more important against this guy uh, in the beginning of the fight. Just because his posture will, will drain. Oh, that was kind of cool. Woo! I didn't mean to get close to him there, so I'm glad I was able to deflect that. Okay, now my posture's broken. I need to get out of here. I'm out of pellets. Let's use a heal. So yeah, I, I mainly want to chip away at his health as much as I can right now. Until his posture starts not going away. So I'm basically just controlling distance, rushing in when I have a, an opportunity for an attack, and staying away when I don't. And uh, constantly sprinting is one way that you can really, really easily control distance in this game, because there's no stamina bar. You can just get as much stamina as you want. Here comes a grab. Get some free attacks in. Get away. Oh. Alright, so he's almost there on his first health bar. And dodge. I think we almost got him. Gotta get away. Man, he would have grabbed me there. Okay, so there's the first health bar down. We're looking good as long as we don't get complacent. It's very easy to uh, let your guard down and get <laughs> insta-killed by this guy, basically. And we'll dodge. Extra damage. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, see right there? Look how much damage he did. Oh, oh shit, my posture's broken. And just like that, I'm out of heals. So, as you can see, you gotta be extremely careful to around this guy. Just sort of baiting him with getting close to make him do certain attacks that I know how to defend against. Get all those hits. Looks like his, his sword is now imbued with poison. So, uh... Oh, oh, alright. Little frame drop there. So if you get hit by it, you'll take some poison. Let's see if we can dodge this. That was a little bit risky. Just because, uh, at this point without any heals, if I had misdodged it, I would have taken a shit ton of damage. So I think we're gonna deflect that just to be safe. We don't get as many hits in, but it's the safer way to go. Wow. Didn't mean to jump away from him there. Oh my god, these frame drops, what's happening? It's supposed to be Fraps doing that. Okay, we're looking good. As long as we don't get careless. Ooh. Gotta be careful that for that quick uh, follow-up that he has. A jump before you a nice opportunity for some extra attacks. You know, I should be using my prosthetic right now, I think. Whatcha? Oh, oh shit. Okay, that did not help me there. Alright, so I'm almost dead, but I've got Resurrect, so I'm not that worried. I think I can make it until he's... until he's dead. He's just about dead. I get one more mistake, basically, which I think is, man is reasonable. Here comes a grab. Some attacks in there. Control the distance with running. We're gonna go in for a dodge on this. Another attack. And there it is. Whew. Unrefined sake. A bottle of cloudy unrefined sake. Sake is a drink meant for sharing. This cloudy sake is one of Ishii Nishina's favorites. It has a rich, full-bodied flavor. On the other hand, it has a reputation for getting one too drunk too quickly. And another prayer bead. Sweet. Did the volume get reset? I feel like that was a bit louder than uh, than usual. No, volume's still low. Okay. Uh, we have no heals, and there's still a couple enemies between here and the uh, the idol, so we do, we do need to be careful. We've still got that buffer of the resurrect, but uh, we just can't be careless. <laughs> can't be careless. <laughs> can't be careless as I bump into the wall, alert them both, and then whiff my attacks. Let's try this again. Okay, so he's dead. I think there's just this guy and one more guy, so this is this is fine. We'll get that resurrect node back at the idol. 
who else was here? Oh, I guess maybe it was just those two. Okay, so we're good. Let's collect some items. Dowsing powder. A pellet. We're not going to use that pellet now, because like I said, there's no more enemies. Oil. And a secret passage right here, which will leave us to even more items. Divine Confetti. Whoo! We probably have enough Divine Confetti to fight that first Headless, to be honest. So we, we might go do that um, before episode's end. Prayer Bead. How many do we have? I don't know how many Prayer Beads we have. We're pretty close to having four again. Bibu Balloon of Wealth. I think we have three right now. Light Coin Purse. And that's all that's in the secret area. Back out here. There's one more item. Uh, Mibu Balloon of Soul. Okay. Let's rest. We definitely need to rest before uh, what's coming up now. All right, so continuing on. Take out this archer. And here we've got Inosuke from uh, the Ashina outskirts. Talking about illusion techniques. Gives me a snapseed, which is just like the one that we picked up uh, in the, the area with the giant snake. So. coming up on the end of this area. I'm going to make a couple adjustments to my layout for items. We're going to keep our heels like this, and we're going to... Uh, yeah, we can have a sugar, but we also want snap seeds in our quick items, and uh, that may become apparent later on in this, uh, this fight. And I want shurikens equipped. Here we go. Drunk. Yeah, drunk. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but he was running kind of funny. Like exaggerated arm motion. So obviously a boss fight. Vitality and posture. The lower one's vitality, the slower their posture recovers. Posture gauge's color gets redder as recovery rate slows. Vitality damaging techniques such as dodge counterattack are ideal against enemies with fast posture recovery. Once enemy vitality is low, posture damaging moves become effective. So counterattack in this fight is going to be the main way to go. Oh, and that's exactly what I wanted to avoid right there. That sweep attack is basically the thing to watch out for. Um, and she did it right off the bat, and I wasn't quite ready for it. So let's give this another shot. We want to be aggressive, but also looking out for that sweep attack. And, god damn it. <laughs> it's exact. <sighs> okay, nope. It didn't happen. Reset. Everything's fine. Let's take a pellet. Get behind this for the some cover 
And back to attacking. So the shurikens can help when she's in the air like that. Just get away while she does this. Resume attacking. Oh shit. Man, I'm getting destroyed. <laughs> wow. Is that first death? That might be the first death. I don't remember if I died before. But wow, I don't think I've... That's probably the worst I've ever done against Lady Butterfly. I've never died like that, just so so fast. Like, I barely got any deflects on her. But you can see now, th this is a great fight for illustrating why giving away Kuro's charm is sort of a... Yeah, it, that was the first uh, tutorialization of Loss on Death. So yeah, that was the first death. Um, like I was saying, this, this fight is sort of a great illustration of why giving away Kuro's charm is actually a challenge because as you saw with lady butterfly she's th she's constantly throwing things she's got tons of really quick attacks that require precise timing to deflect and if you don't you'll take a little bit of damage each time and that that goddamn sweep i can't run into her that's that's the lesson i need to learn i can't just run into her i need to uh just sort of walk up to her be cautious let's take like sugar put this wall in the way and we'll do another pellet. What happened to my other pellet? It, like, barely healed me. Okay, let's do this. What, what is she doing? Did she glitch out or something? Oh, interesting. She was able to continue her perilous attack even though I shurikened. Yeah, so even there, I felt like the my timing was pretty good, but there was just so many shurikens. Didn't even matter. There we go. That interrupted her. I should probably heal when I have a breather. Oh, shit. Get away. Man, oh, oh there's the fucking sweep. We don't need to heal yet. We can save these. And her posture is re that sweep again. Man, I'm getting wrecked. I don't recall ever having this hard a time with uh, anticipating her sweeps, but <laughs> it could be just because I haven't recorded myself fighting her before, and so I'm concentrating on talking as well. Losing all my monies. I had like 2,000 gold before this. Let's try it again. Let's take a sugar. It's good to have her back up into a corner. Oh shit. There we go. Anticipated that one. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. Pretty good right now. Just gotta watch out for that sweep. We're building up her posture pretty well. Damn it, I hate it when it locks off like that. Just gotta keep the pressure up. There it is. Okay. I think we're, we're doing a better job of watching out for the sweep now. And that's really the main threat. Let's take a pellet just to be safe. And uh, we're going to take a sugar close to when she's going to jump down. That's good. 
And we'll just stay right on her because if we give her uh, space to breathe, she might summon some illusions. And, uh, it's not ideal. Pretty good. Shuriken. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> the shuriken hit her like all every time, but she didn't fall. I wonder if I can just ignore those guys. They might be far enough to the center that... Oh, I need to get out of here. Oh, shit. I can't see. Oh. They, I can't believe they cornered me against the pillar. That was so unlikely. They're still cornering me. Okay, so this is why we have the snap seats. And I just waste. Oh my. No! Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god, I, ha I fucking had that one in the bag. I was just trying to use a snap seed, and like they kept poking me and interrupting me, and they fucking stun locked me. Alright, Unseen 8 is at least a consolation, but man, I that victory, that should have been mine. Yes, thank you. Unseen 8 makes it so occasionally I don't lose anything on death. Man, I'm salty about that one. That's that's bullshit. <laughs> this is how it begins. This is where the salt in Sekiro begins. Now. And, yeah, inevitably now I'm going to do way worse. Alright, here we go. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. We're fine. Just got to watch out for that sweep again. I know she's going to do it. She always does it. It always gets me. And it'll kill me if I don't defend against it. There it is. Oh, just barely got that one. We're looking good. She might do it again, so I gotta be careful, but at this rate. Oh. Can I interrupt that? Oh, I can actually. Got her with the shuriken. Back to hitting. Shuriken again. Her posture is almost full. There it is. Okay, so we're looking really good. We haven't used any. We used one pellet. We're looking good on healing items. Let's actually use another one while we, while we have the chance. Yeah. Switch out our sugar. We're going to use Gokens, I think. Because we're constantly deflecting against her, so. Alright, let's do this again. Let's see your illusion save you this time. As you can see, as soon, every time she goes up in the air, I'm just going to hit her with the shurikens. Get her back down. And now she's backed into a corner. So unless she does the sweep... Like that... <laughs> why do I have to say it? Okay, I just healed twice. We're, we're good. I just need to not let that happen again. Just got to watch out for that sweep. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Now, when she does that combo again, I, I need to back up. That's really what that was. I, I didn't back up when I should have. Let's use a pellet. There's that combo again. We took a bit of damage there. Let's take another heal. Let's get back to attacking. The fuck is this? Oh, another sweep! Oh, Jesus Christ. Heal. Okay, we're good. As long as we don't make any more mistakes, we can get her. I don't want her to use... Oh. I don't want her to summon her illusions. Let's back away. Shit. We took a little bit of chip damage there that I didn't want to take. There's the sweep. Let's get back to attacking. What the fuck? What was that? What 
think we're, we're still okay on shurikens. Okay, I can't get hit by those range things either. The health's getting a little bit uh, sketch. Whoa, <laughs> that probably would have killed me. Okay, now we need to be use the snap seeds on these guys. I think we got him. Where'd she go? Let's continue on. Can we do it with this amount of health? Stop jumping up. What the fuck was that? What What just happened? I'm gonna have to rewatch that. I hit her with the shurikens. She fell down on top of me and killed me. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe that. I had her. <laughs> well, this is a uh, this is a long fall from uh, my first attempt on Gyobu Oriwa. Are we getting Dragon Rot now? Is that what this is? Yeah, <laughs> here we go. It's quite a cough, my dude. Rod Essence Sculptor. Somewhere a pained cough rings out continuously. The man who coughs zealously sculpts statues of Buddha to avoid being consumed by the building flames. Excuse me. Owning this item reduces one chance of receiving, receiving unseen aid. And we got another one for the timid maid. Dragon Rot. The more one with the power of the dragon's heritage dies, the more sickness known as Dragon Rot spreads through the world. Dragon Rot is not caused by resurrection. It has a chance to occur only when the wolf truly dies repeatedly. The more rot essence wolf has, the lower the chances of receiving unseen aid. Okay. So, uh, we are going to heal the Dragon Rot. We're going to do Emma's little side quest. Oh, shit. I meant to go to the idol instead of there. Um... We are going to do the little side quest that allows you to heal Dragon Rot. Uh, we'll do that after we've beaten Lady Butterfly. Uh, just because I don't know how many t how many more times I'm going to die to her. Hopefully not many more. We're getting close. Okay. Let's give it another shot. I still have no idea what happened with that last death. Like, we had her. We hit her with the shurikens, and somehow when she fell, she dealt damage. I don't know what the fuck that was. Yeah, I think sidestepping this is a better idea. You don't run the risk of chip damage. I didn't use the sugar, did I? That's fine. She's getting me accustomed to only doing this, and it'll make it harder to anticipate when she does the sweep. Ow. Ha! Waiting for that sweep. No, no sweep, alright. First phase down, without incident. Let's take a pellet. Oh, we're out of pellets now. Okay, we've gone through all of our reserves of pellets. So, just healing gourds from now on. We have no sugar either. Alright, no matter. Let's resume the attack. Staying right on her. 
waiting for that sweep. It's really the main thing I'm worried about. And I actually backed up a bit there in case you wanted to fall on me again. Camera angle is getting a little annoying. Yeah, it makes it so I can't lock on. The fuck? Okay, time to get away while we regroup. Alright, snap seat time. Let's kill all these guys real quick. Ow. Ow. Give me a break. There we go. Let's take a, take a heal. Get back onto the attack. Let's back away. And I know she does a sweep at the end of that attack, so I was able to anticipate that one. This charged shuriken attack is uh, really helping me out. Her posture's looking pretty good. It's about half full, it looks like. Just gotta watch out for that sweep still. Oh, I missed. Oh shit, there's the sweep. Alright. I was distracted by her, her projectiles that she did. Let's take a heal. Back away. I need to heal up to full because if she sweeps me and I'm not at full health, I'll, I'll die. Oh, could have sworn I jumped on her head, but I guess not. More snap seats. Alright. Did I get all of them? I think I got all of them. Where is she? Where are you? What? Where? Oh. Alright, back to attacking. Her posture is not recovered that well, so we're still looking okay. She's gonna do a sweep at the end of this, which we can jump on. Let's resume the attack. There's a sweep. All right, we got that one. Back away while she does throw stuff. Are you serious? My God. How many times are you gonna do the same thing? Oh. Can't see her, it worries me. Ow, fuck. So now I'm not at full anymore. If, I, if she does the sweep again, I'll die. If I don't defend against it. But her posture's almost there. Very close. Just a couple more hits. Got her. Alright. Hey, thanks. Okay, so, more attempts than I wanted on Lady Butterfly, but uh, we got it done. The Phantom Lady Butterfly was a seasoned practitioner of illusions. Sakura Droplet, pale pink crystal residue, known to form when an immortal oath fails to establish. Increases resurrective power, allowing one additional resurrection. To repeat the vows of the undying and be awarded resurrective power, once more surely necess necessitates the aid of a divine child of the dragon's heritage. All right, we did it. Eh. That's a shame.
Are you sober now? Okay, so obviously, uh, the origin story of how the wolf gained his resurrective power. How many experience points have we got? Four. Exa wow, exactly four. Sweet. Uh, now we're gonna do the, uh, Dragon Rot side quest line before finishing up this episode. Ask Emma about the rest. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, he looks terrible. Yeah. I don't know any cord seats, right? Okay, so we need to rest to continue the quest line. Oh, thanks. Now it's telling me the Bakiri counter training is unlocked. Not that I was going to do that, but it's, it's like, what was, what was the delay? Uh, we're going to use that memory to increase our attack power. The Phantom Lady Butterfly was appointed by the wolf's foster father as one of his mentors in shinobi techniques. These mentors employed strict methods. The cultivation of shinobi techniques can only be achieved in the midst of battle. Uh, and we're going to spend some skills. We're going to do Vault Over. Uh, so this allows you to do backstabs in combat even after, so, so normally you do backstabs as a stealth death blow. This allows you to do backstabs in combat after you defeated an enemy, which the reason for that becomes apparent once you start gaining ninjutsu abilities, which we'll talk about when we get there. We're also gonna get Fang and Blade, which gives us the nice follow-up melee attack for Loaded Axe and Mist Raven. And uh, we'll rest to continue this quest. So you saw Emma disappeared from her location there. And now she's in here. <laughs> I live here. Liu <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to go to the uh, Timid Maid, who is the other NPC that has Dragon Rod right now, and we're going to get that blood sample. She is the old woman who gave us the bell that allowed us to go to Harada Estate. So the fastest way to get to her, I believe, is here? Yeah, I think so. So my general policy towards Dragon Rot is uh, if you're not currently fighting a boss, I like to maintain Dragon Rot uh, completely healed at all times. We're just going to sneak past this rooster. Oh, or not. <laughs> I guess we'll kill him. Um... Yeah, so unless I'm currently fighting a boss and uh, expecting to die a bunch, I'm probably going to be using uh, the the items that heal Dragon Rot immediately. You know what? While we're here, before we talk to her, let's just see if there's anything we would purchase at this merchant. We might as well... Oh, wow. Do I have exact change? Oh my god, beautiful. 
gold. I had exactly enough gold for those three three coin purses. Um, I just bought those because, you know, why not? If you're going to die and lose money, you lose less of it when you've invested in uh, coin purses. Okay, so here she is. Wait, no, that's... Wait, what the hell? She's dead? Uh... Wait, so how do I get the, the blood sample? I've never seen this before, where she's dead. I have the reticence for the sculptor. What happened to the the other rod essence that I got? I'm so confused right now. I guess, I guess I can't actually do this quest until someone else gets rod uh, rod essence. Huh. Uh. Wow. Okay. Wow. I've never seen this. Okay. So we're not going to do that quest right now. We'll do it the next time someone gets rod essence, which will just be. Oh, that kind of sucks, though, because now I'm stuck at 15% unseen aid. There's nothing I, nothing I can do about it. Oh, well, I don't, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, oh, you know what? I know exactly what I can do about it. Because <laughs> This is actually kind of a coincidence. Because I just spent exact change to get those coin purses, there's actually no penalty for me dying right now. I have basically no skill points either, so, so or no experience. So killing myself right now has no negative effects other than getting me more rod essence, which is what I want to continue that quest. So I'm just going to kill myself. I never never thought I would be in this situation where I wanted to kill myself in Sekiro, but... I am curious how many times it'll take to get the next rod essence, though. Hopefully this isn't... This doesn't take too long. I wonder if there's a faster way than jumping off this cliff, because it takes three jumps every time to kill myself. Yeah, I think a, I think a faster way is going to be getting killed by enemies. So let's find a bonfire, <laughs> an idol that's closer to some enemies. Let's go to... Oh, yeah, this one. I'll die super quick there. We got the big boy and a ton of soldiers. Yeah. I wonder what made it so that they're dead. Is it just the fact that I talked to them in Harada Estate? Hi. How you guys doing? I just want to eat grubs. Okay. Die. It's good that you at least have that option. So that's two deaths. How many will it take? <laughs> I'm actually dodging the bullets by jumping. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Okay, that's that's three, I think. I gotta stand still so the gunners can hit me. Hi. Wish I I wish this game had gestures like in Dark Souls. I could like wave at them or bow. That's four. I'm kind of surprised it's taking this many. <laughs> okay, that was a way more efficient kill. You guys are getting better. That was like two shots right off the bat, followed by a quick sword swing. Five sounds like a good number. Maybe it'll be five. Nope. Ah! Uh... <laughs> 
Ew. Spear right through the back. Oh, another thing I didn't think of is, are there any, are there even any more NPCs right now that I've uncovered that can get Dragon Rot? Oh, shit. I mean, I would think that Anayama could get it. He's an NPC with, with a quest line. But he's the only one I can think of. Who else? Because I know Emma doesn't get it. I think Anayama might be the, the only one. Uh, I know Hanbei doesn't get it. Hanbei might be the only, or uh, Anayama might be the only, the only one right now who's eligible for getting Dragon Rot. So we're still relatively early in the game. Since Inosuke is also dead with his mother, so. It's taking a lot more tries than I thought. Maybe 10? With the... Uh, yeah, just double checking that I didn't get it and, and miss it. Oh, I shouldn't have dodged that. I don't think I'm going to try this much longer. If, uh, if I don't get it, then... Uh, I don't know, I guess I'm just going to continue and just deal with the 15% unseen aid. I think this will be this will be my last try, I think. This is so typical of Souls games when you're trying to get something even when it's undesirable, it's just impossible to get it. <laughs> it's only when you're not looking for it that it finds you. No. All right. Well, I guess we're we're locked on this quest for now. We're gonna have to wait until we organically get uh, one of those rod essences to continue that quest. Let me just double check that Emma doesn't have anything else to say because this is kind of an unusual case where the person she asked for a sample from no longer has it because they're dead. Maybe there's some sort of contingency they put into her quest. Let's see what she has to say. Okay, so she still wants me to find blood samples. You're the only one with rod essence right now. Do you have a blood sample? No, you don't. All right. Well, yeah, I think we're locked in this quest for now. I don't. I don't know if that's a bug or something I just have never seen before, but. Uh, yeah, it doesn't appear that we can do that quest at this at this moment. So, uh, I th let's see, is there anything else? I think that wraps it up for this episode. We've done everything in Harada Estate. Uh, do we have any more carp scales? We need five for the uh, combat art that was available in Harada Estate. So, yeah, that wraps up Harada Estate. Uh, next, we're going to be tackling Ashina Castle. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.